Hey guys, I'm Justin with CBI Off-Road. We've been getting tons of questions about how to install and assemble our quick release awning mounts. Today, we're just gonna take a couple minutes to walk you through that process. We'll start with the assembly. Okay, so first thing, you wanna open up your package and just do a quick visual inspection. Uh, make sure your latches are uh, operating freely and everything's good working order there. Um, also, hardware, make sure you got everything. Loctite will be included in your kit. Tools needed, uh, two half inch wrenches, one seven sixteenths wrench, a T30 Torx bit for the roof rack. Um, that should sum it up. Let's go ahead and get to assembly. Okay, first, first step of the assembly is compressing the rib nut. So with the bracket flat on a table, drop the rib nut in, and now we're taking our 5 sixteenths bolt, putting a washer on it. Then we're putting the hex, hex coupler on it. Another washer and we're gonna start it into the rib nut. We can run it all the way to where it is hand tight. Okay, now that we're hand tight, we're gonna take our half inch wrenches. We're gonna put one wrench on the hex coupler, and then the other wrench is gonna go on the head of the 5 16 bolt. Now we're gonna start tightening, and as you tighten it, it's gonna compress that rib nut. All right, so now we got it compressed and you can kind of double check yourself by looking at the backside and you can kind of see how it's mushroomed out like that. You know you're fully compressed, so we can go ahead and remove the 5 16 bolt. All right, so our rib nut's now compressed. Uh, next step is we're gonna install the zinc coated bolts with some Loctite. So apply your Loctite to your zinc coated bolt. Go ahead and run that in to your rib nut. And we're gonna take our half inch wrench and just bump it tight. We don't need to get crazy and over tighten this because we have the Loctite in there to help us out. So just a little bump snug is all we need. Okay, now this one's ready for install. Okay, so the process is gonna be the same on all the different brackets on compressing the rib nut. So just make sure that uh, you have the rib nut facing the correct way and you'll be good to go. All right, so we got everything assembled. Next step is we're gonna install them on our roof rack. Um, so placement's gonna depend on the size of your roof rack and the type of your awning. So take some measurements and play around and get it where you like it. Um, we're putting ours right here. There is a load panel, but the load panels are cut out specifically for these brackets, so no worry there. Um, but basically, we're gonna remove the bolts holding this crossbar, lift it up, slide in our carriage bolts, put it back down, secure it in place because we won't be able to access these once the bracket is on. So once we get that done, then we'll secure the nuts to the carriage bolts and be good to go. Okay, so now we installed um, our bracket on here. Now the other end of the bracket basically just sits in there, slides down, and then we're gonna fold in these clips turn them clockwise till they lock, fold them in and you're done. Um, that sums up our install. If you guys have any questions, drop a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more of these videos. Thanks for watching.